Dear Houston, Christopher Walken here. We got a problem. I don't know if I should dance on the moon. Okay, well, Christopher Walken has never actually walked on the moon, but only a handful of human beings ever actually have. And because of that, we know the surface of the moon pretty well. I mean, we look up at the night sky right at it. Look at that, it's beautiful. What's inside the moon, however, remains hidden from view. Various theories about what's under the surface may have been developed, some funny, some conspiratorial, and some through hard scientific work. Are you interested? Cause I know I am. Let's dive into it. Here are 10 theories about what's inside of the moon. Number 10 is water. When we see pictures of Earth, we see all the abundance of life around the globe. And where there's life, there's water. It's long been assumed that the moon is a barren rock in comparison. However, a recent theory suggests that it may not quite be as barren as we once thought. In fact, under its surface, there may actually be water of a kind. By analyzing moon rocks brought back from the Apollo 17 mission, scientists have interpreted this data to suggest that there might indeed be water held within the rocks deep underneath the surface. This new theory suggests that there is a hundred times more water than anyone else thought possible. This is great news for future settlements there, if true. Plus living on the moon is thirsty work. Number nine is the strange thickness anomaly. Yes, the strange thickness anomaly, not to be confused with the Instagram models that you follow. You'll notice in this list that there are some wildly speculative theories about the moon. However, what's fascinating is that even NASA scientists accept that there are some strange things going on underground. For example, there seems to be an anomaly about how the surface of the moon varies in thickness. If this is true, it appears that the side facing the earth has a thinner surface covering whatever lies underneath. Researchers are still trying to figure out why this is and what exactly it means for what's inside the moon. There are certainly tidal forces going on, so one theory is that the gravitational pull of the earth is pulling at the denser side of the moon, compressing the thickness of the crust on its visible side. One thing's for sure, we will only know what this dense material is for certain if we go back there and drill down. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Hold on, let me get my spacesuit. Number eight is another planet. Current theories about how a planet develops its moons suggest that they often form from the same materials which created the planet in the first place. However, there's one more theory about the moon's origin which casts doubt on this idea. It also suggests that there may be something spectacular underneath the moon's surface. The moon itself may have been the product of another planet. Imagine two other planets colliding and throwing out fragments of themselves into the surrounding solar system. It's possible that the moon was then captured by the Earth's gravitational pull. So in essence, what's underneath the moon may be evidence of a planet that's now no longer existing. This would support theories that in its infancy, the solar system may have had many more planets. It really was an overcrowded place back in the day anyway, so someone had to go. Not Pluto though. Pluto's still a planet. I don't care what they say. Love Pluto. Number seven is layers. Through what we know about Earth's internal construction, theories have been built up to explain the moon's internals using what we see on our own planet. This has been combined with analysis of moon rocks brought back during the Apollo missions. Putting all this together, a popular theory is that, like Earth, the moon can be broken down into layers. This involves the crust, which is what we see when looking at the moon, followed by many kilometers of a mantle made of metal elements, and finally, a core, which measures about 700 kilometers across cross. This core is far denser than other layers, but scientists are only able to speculate largely about what that core is made out of. In this way then, the moon is like an onion that can be peeled layer by layer. But if you do that, make sure you keep a metal spoon on your tongue because that way you won't cry. That's a little bonus fact for you. It really works. Number six are alien materials. 
As we've already seen, theories about how the moon was created often inform us as to what's going on inside. However, none of these theories have been truly confirmed with great confidence. For this reason then, people speculate about the formation of the moon and the resulting interior of it. One fascinating theory is that the moon itself did not come from our solar system, but that it may have originated somewhere else. It then entered our solar system and settled alongside Earth. The reason the surface of the moon appears to be made of the same stuff as our solar system could be because of all the asteroids and other materials which impacted the moon throughout its history. If this is true, what's inside the moon may be alien materials from another star system or new elements with amazing properties that science has yet to discover. Cheese! That's made of cheese. Calling that right now in this video. Gonna look back on it in a few years. They're gonna know moon's made of cheese. Mmm. Cheese. Number five is iron. Many scientists have put forward a theory that the core of the moon is made of iron and nickel. This would explain why the moon has an electromagnetic field generated by its metal core. However, one problem with this theory is that the magnetic field of the moon is extremely weak. In fact, some believe that the vast majority of this weak field is generated by metal particles within the crust of the moon and not its core. Either way, it appears likely that there is a substantial amount of metal resources, including iron, either just under the moon's surface or much deeper. It could be mined for profit in the future without causing environmental damage as it does on Earth. See folks, space travel could save us all, unless we bump into evil aliens. Just go ahead and hold that thought. Number four are tunnels. Although the moon could be humanity's first permanent settlement off-world, it's an extremely hazardous environment. There are various engineering problems to be overcome when building a moon base. One suggestion is that the solution to these problems will come from what's beneath the surface. At some point, lava flowed there underground. It's been speculated by many that there may be lava tubes left behind. These massive tunnels and caverns are formed when the outside of a lava flow cools, creating a hard surface. Once the lava inside drains away, a large space is left. With no real atmosphere to speak of, the moon is not protected from impacts and cosmic radiation the way that we are on Earth. If we built settlements inside these lava tunnels, we would be safe. Unless there are more locks down there. That would be unfortunate. Number three is Earth's twin. One day a scientific theory is popular, then it seems silly, then it's popular again. That's just how science sometimes works, because theories become more popular depending on the evidence we have at the time. One theory which is often laughed at was formulated by Charles Darwin's son, George Darwin. He believed that the Earth itself ejected the moon out as if it was giving birth to it. Mama, I come out now, mm, moon. He believes that the Earth in its infancy was spinning so fast that a piece of it broke off. Therefore, underneath the moon, you would actually find a piece of Earth itself. Although still controversial, in 2010, there was a study that suggested that a natural nuclear explosion could have occurred on our planet, which gave birth to the moon. Ah, oh, it's our little baby moon. Dear God, imagine the size of the diapers. Moon poopy. Number two is the unexplained mass. Okay, there was a lot of time spent researching strange and unusual bizarre topics for you guys. But what really amazes me is when science crosses over into the world and suggests that there really is something truly bizarre out there. This is the case with one theory about what's inside the moon. In June of 2019, scientists discovered that there's something hidden deep inside the moon, but no one is sure what it is. Underneath an ancient impact crater 2,000 kilometers wide, there's an unexplained mass. Various theories are exploring what that is is. Some believe it to be the core of an object which crashed into the moon and burrowed deep underneath. Another is that a previously undiscovered phenomenon took place after the impact, where the resulting magma pooled together in one blob for some reason. Whatever the truth is, it's these sort of scientifically verified mysteries that I live for. And number one is a spaceship. I know, I know. 
just hear me out. Those who are familiar with the hollow earth theory might think they know where this is going, but hollow moon theory doesn't just suggest that there's a hollow space inside the moon, it suggests that the moon itself might be a spaceship. Yeah, I bet you didn't see that coming. What's great about this theory is that while there's no evidence yet of aliens inside the moon, there's some data which suggests the idea of a hollow void inside the moon. During the Apollo missions, the way the moon vibrates was measured when Apollo 12 deliberately crashed an unmanned module into the surface. The moon was described as ringing like a bell in the immediate aftermath, which some believe shows that there's a giant space inside there. But hey, who knows what it's filled with? Cheese, it's filled with cheese, nacho cheese. Sorry, I'm very hungry. I'm gonna go get some cheese. But as always, thank you so much for watching, for liking this video, and of course, for subscribing to my channel. And a very special thank you to all of my channel members, especially the names you see on your screen right now. Every single one of you helps keep my channel going. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next time.